Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Juno New Origins. It's been a little bit of a time since I last posted a video in this career mode, and that is just a um, lack of motivation, really. Uh, so, uh, if, if I'm not feeling it, I'm just not going to make a video. I apologize for that, but uh, I don't want to make a half-hearted video. I have made one major decision since last time I posted a video, and that is to turn off the stock music. Uh, it's just too low-key. I guess would be the best way to put it. And so I'm using the music that I normally use for streaming, which is from OC Remix, and the credit is in the upper left hand corner. So uh, that is a thing. And so we'll be listening to that music instead. Uh, nothing else to report. I think we'll just try out this shuttle. I want to do just a flight test with it. So let's see how it handles. Too tall for selected launch location. Hold on a sec. Really? Do we need to put twin rudders on this? Huh. Well, I mean, it was close enough. I could probably shorten it up. We can we can change that a little bit. I'm surprised though. Oh, we could do wingtip ones. That's another option. I'll get as close as possible. All right. I don't know if there are any other problems with it. Yeah, a major thing is just aesthetics. I do make my own models for a spacecraft, and uh, if I had a way to import models from Blender into here and use them... Oh, it's not reading my throttle now. Okay, yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, I'm not that into procedural parts, personally. Let me check. Okay, that's working. Alright, here we go. Should be much power. Uh, it's not really got pitch authority. It's not pulling up. Big. Ooh. Well, there's a barrier there, apparently. Okay, so it wasn't really uh, able to pull up. Hmm, but that was expensive, but we have money, so it's fine. We can. I, I don't think there's anything to recover. Well, we do need to be able to pull up, but maybe it's just too heavy with its internal fuel? I mean, it's got a huge thrust weight ratio, though. There's really no excuse. How close is the center of mass to the control surfaces? That's okay. But maybe a canard? Or maybe I just need to make these control surfaces larger. In fact, the engine gimbling should have helped, too. As gimbal range. Hmm. Okay, well, let's give it a go. Okay, now we have the throttle working. Uh, yeah, that would be the right way for them to deflect. Okay, well... Let's try and stop here. Uh, I need better brakes. Oop. Okay. Well, at least it's recoverable. I mean, it shouldn't be required to take off like this, but... Wheels are in the right place. <laughs> um, for rotation. Do I have to do canards? <laughs> I guess I have to do canards. Okay, well... It's different. Let's try this. Maybe the Ali, pa uh, Ali runway just doesn't like me. Maybe I should- well, we can't fit it on the village runway, though. No. Well. Okay, now we're taking off. Yep, just uh, down to pitch authority, it looks like. Um, roll seems the other way around- oh my god! Okay, no. Uh... Oh, oh, uh, 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 Okay, uh, maybe because I didn't have stability on. Wow, it's very maneuverable. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, oh no, uh... Hmm... That was with stability on. 
I, I want to retry that. I mean, it won't hurt our budget much anyway, but... Let me just retry that. So... Now we have, like, too much, or... How is this working out? The roll... I don't feel like I want all of them to do roll. Uh, the outer ones, for some reason, aren't rolling. Hold on. I thought the outer one... Outer... The ailerons are supposed to do roll. I don't know why they're not deflecting for roll. Yeah, they're doing pitch only. Well, that probably explains some of our problems. But I thought I had tested it out and previously they were doing roll, but maybe they got switched or something. That's definitely yaw. Uh, Alright. We need to put RCS on this. Do we have RCS? No gyros, by the way. That's a continuing rule here. Let's uh, have some monopropellant. And let's just put the RCS thrusters on now before I forget. Again. All right. So are GD having RCS thrusters right on the nose, but we'll see what happens. Okay. First of all, let's start with that on. Let's not go full thrust, maybe. Oh, RCS doesn't need to be on. Uh, uh, okay, uh... The gear... Eight. I wish the stability assist. It, it seems nose-heavy as far as it's concerned, but boy. Probably ought not to be. Why is it constantly pitching down at all? Come on, come on. Come on, hold that sucker. I, I, I'm trying to let go of the stick, but then it always dips down. It just constantly dips down for some reason. I mean, we certainly have the control necessary to hold the pitch, so... Really should try. Part crew compartment taking atmospheric pressure damage. Well, okay. I wasn't expecting that at 30 kilometers and 600 meters per second. Wow, that was expensive. The RCS thrusters are extra expensive, I think. Crew compartment, that's you, right? I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll just try launching it vertically and... I mean, but it's supposed to come back down. I was gonna try and do a landing test, too. Let's try and go around. I, I don't feel great about it, though. It, uh, it really wants to pitch down very strongly. It's because we put the RCS fuel in the nose. Let's just get rid of it. That's a lot. Okay. It's because we had all the RCS in the nose. Okay. It's still nose heavy. It's still trying to pitch down. But I don't have the stability on. It still can't hold it. Even though we have... Oh! Even though we have the authority to hold it. We have the pitch authority and everything. But it doesn't want to hold it, even though we have the pitch authority to hold it. Oh. Oh, uh, Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me just take that off. feel like it's not... Oh, uh, it really pitches... And then it's... Uh, hmm... These are not things I want a plane to do for me. Yeah, it suddenly flips out like that. Oh, uh, this mountain. Well, I mean, it's not good. We gotta increase the canard pitch authority and decrease this one. Uh, Let's just put this deflection angle zero and see. Oh, turn those off. 
Well, we got off the ground quicker. Letting go... It still noses down, but not as badly. We went past the speed of sound this time. It wants to right itself quite a lot, which is, I guess, okay. Yeah, it'll suddenly jerk. Uh, when, when it's go uh, trying to level out, that's it jerking that way. Like, that's not me doing it. That's the stability system deciding that. Okay, well, turning like a fighter plane is not a good idea. We are stalled. I think we were runway 10, right? So we need to go 280 to get back to it, in theory. I can't see it anymore, though. Didn't it have, like, a little indicator for me somewhere? Is that where my base is? That's a pretty far away. I don't know where... I don't know where my runway is. This isn't the right way. There's nothing over here. But I guess we can land over there. There seem to be fewer dunes over there. That we didn't take it up to 30 kilometers this time. Will the crew compartment have a problem again? I don't know. I think we definitely need to balance out the mop pellet in the nose with some in the tail. Well, gear down. I don't know what our stall speed is. Okay, Oop. don't want to go up. Pretty slow now. I think we've landed. Alright, well, I brought it to a stop. Getting it back to the runway is a whole other business, considering I can't really see the runway very well. But anyway, let's recover. Got most of our value back. Oh, we took off from 28, right? That was what confused me. I thought we were taking off from 10 again. All right. So, we need to put it together with a stack so that it gets to orbit because it doesn't have enough delta V to get to orbit right now. Configuration rocket. Okay, rocket mode. So, we do not want you starting extended. Here we go. Ooh, it doesn't... It's not convincing on that landing gear. And then if I tweak it like that, I have to put it back on again, it looks... A fuel line... No, we don't want it to happen at the same time. This obviously doesn't seem big enough, but... Delta V wise, that's plenty, but we not we are not carrying any cargo right now. So, well, let's put some cargo in. I think I'd rather have a docking port than a decoupler. Okay, we have a thing. Uh, do we have any payloads that we could plop in here? Let's have jet fuel. We know we. Don't need to worry about that being consumed. So, seven tons of jet fuel. There we go. Seven tons of jet fuel. Now it looks like we need to have boosters. Well, I mean, we needed boosters for the thrust weight ratio, but now we don't have quite the delta V we had before. I am going to use Carolox boosters instead of the solid rocket motors, and that is because the solid boosters do not gimbal, so... I should put some tilt into the wings. Okay, just five degrees of tilt. Not good to do after flight testing. I also wanted to... 
put some of the mod propellant in the tail. Well, I'm just putting two cylinders like that there. Well, those are probably too big. <laughs> no, I don't want to do the resize. Hold on. Okay, well, that's actually reading pretty good. God, just have them level. I don't even know about launch clamps in this game, so... Get them all level down there. Not much gimbal range, though. Is the 2.5 is all you're going to give me? This guy has 5. No, gas generator 1 can have 10 degrees. I think I would prefer that. But this doesn't have an omega cone. Gosh darn it. 2.5 degrees seems a little bit unfortunate though. But that's enough delta V and thrust weight ratio now. Now what about separatrons? What about things to push those off? We haven't really needed that much, but I'm worried about them taking out the wing. I guess we'll just launch and find out. Alipad... Um... Because of the wings, the width is too much for the Alipad. I think we have to have the DSC launch pad. Not the large pad. <laughs> the launch pad, though. Wow, it'd be the same at the runway as on the launch pad for this one. Okay, let's try it. Oh, uh, let's time warp. Oh, gosh. The landing gear popped out. Landing gear turned that off. Turn all of it off. Okay. Maybe that'll be okay. Strong landing gear. Okay, now we're okay. Time warp. I just want to launch in daylight. We're probably not oriented right. But okay. Throttle up. And stability on, in theory, and go. Oh, oh, it's not stable. It's not stable. Uh, okay, okay. Um, which way would a roll program roll if a roll program could roll? Oh, gosh. We need more thrust from the boosters. Okay. Emergency. <laughs> abort, abort, abort. Two parts have exploded. Oh, uh, hopefully those were not on me. Oh, I, I, if it deviates away from prograde, it has this... Well, maybe... Uh, right, I, I, I just need to turn off the stability assist, I think. I think that's doing that. It overreacts. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll keep the stability assist, fine. I'll try and be more gentle with it. I've got one of those nifty cameras on so that I could orient the view properly. Oh, chase view, yeah, probably. No! Uh, that is an adverse effect that I don't need in my life with a plane. Well, that's the end of our field. We'll land here. <laughs> Forget the runway. Oh, oh. Yeah, it, it tends to pitch up very sharply. Maybe we've got too much of the RCS in the back. But then, previously it was like nose heavy, so... Okay, brakes. Oh gosh, landscape has fallen away from us. Oh, a mountain is not great for this sort of thing. But maybe, maybe we can stop in time. 
Okay, no, we're falling back down. Oh, stop. Okay. In flight. Recover craft. All right. Well, we didn't get most of it back, but we got some of it back. So let's take a look at the center of mass and center of thrust. That's the center of thrust? Yeah. Okay, well, see, even that much is enough to throw it off, but we really need... I, I like the F1 look, I wanted the F1 look, but we need much more powerful gimbal on the boosters as well. So, and we really need the center mass for the rut. What I want to do is split this into two where half of it is not filled, maybe. Hmm. Uh, this this can have a fuel tank too, and fuel. Please actually have the fuel. Wait. Oh, it's that's Kerlock. Sorry, Hydrolox. Oh, that's not much fuel though. And maybe we can underfuel this tank a bit. That didn't bring it up. I wanted to bring the center of mass up, but clearly that's not enough. And this engine is gonna have to point through it eventually. So, it's obviously not going to work very well like that. Let me tilt it, but can't do too much. 15 degrees is too much. Ten degrees is very shuttly. But the shuttle also had ten degrees of gimbal and this has five. Okay, but yeah, these guys are going to need gimbal. Lots of gimbal. And certainly more thrust there. And completely different nozzles. I guess we'll go with Bravo. Well, we can adjust nozzle length here. I suppose we should paint this tank orange. All right, uh, that's not enough delta V though. Why do we? Oh, this this nozzle doesn't have the gas generator one doesn't have as much efficiency. Hmm. Well, let's just fill up the tanks. All right. Center of mass. We'll have to feel it out. Hopefully, this is better now. At least we know we have abort capabilities. Oh no. Oh, that's a high emission orange tank. Ow. Uh, I'm gonna revert that. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have launch clamps. I mean, I guess we can extend these and hope that they keep us steady. I don't know. Okay. Okay, this time it's okay. All right, here we go. I should rotate it uh, so that we're pointing in that direction. You know what? Let's recover and rotate. Okay, that's better. Then we don't have to do a roll. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, oh! Okay, stability assist. I forgot about that. Oh, all right, all right, all right. It's okay, it's okay. But uh, that that seems north. This is east, huh? I thought seaward would have been east, but I I just didn't know about the orientation of this pad. I suppose. Okay, we need to go east. We need to go east. All right. Uh, the nav ball has me weird. That's why. I don't know which way. Okay, we're upside. We're we're supposed to be upside down. All right. All right. Uh, that that's fine. <laughs> Crew compartment, take me eyes for atmospheric damage. No, no, throw them. Oh no! But with a limited pressure range to work, if under too much or too low pressure, it'll take damage. Space habitat. I guess this. I guess we want the space habitat. I, I guess the crew compartment is for. Not spacecraft. Um, okay, so crew compartment off, space habitat on, but that changes our entire balance. Now, how heavy? Look at you. 
How heavy were you? We need it this to be exactly the same. Oh, that's not too bad. It looks like we can get the crew compartment about the same mass. This just costs more, I think, is the upshot of it. Okay. Not the texture I want, but it'll remind us of its of its true nature. So now we have a crew compartment that isn't going to explode under pressure. Low pressure. I don't know how many people sit in it. Crew capacity 1. Pretty sure the other one had a higher crew capacity, but we really only need one. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll go with that. Alright. Okay, so we're, we're oriented right. Uh, it confused me because of the nav ball orientation, but... We basically just... Or are we not? I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, no, this this heads up on the nav ball, I think is right. Oh, I forgot to change the emission on the orange tank. It's day glow orange now. Well, it's looking shuttly. Okay, booster's off. Ooh, close to the wings, but... Okay, I... I have no roll control, right. Uh, oh, 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 RCS, we need RCS. I only have one engine, so... Oh, no... It's bad control to begin with. The starting thrust weight ratio is not horrible. I should have activated RCS immediately. You mean want two engines instead of one. We're not getting much delta V right now. It says stage delta V 3.3 kilometers per second, but boy is it not coming quickly. You know, let go. I just want you to hold right there. It doesn't want to hold right there. Stop turning. Are we out of RCS? We're out of RCS. Uh oh. We ran out of RCS real quick. We definitely need two engines. Same thrust, same mass, two engines. How am I even controlling roll anyway? Maybe I'm not. I feel like I am though. But there's no RCS. And we took away the gyros. Oh, we could probably abandon this tank. Oh no, it's draining in parallel with the tanks on the shuttle, I think. Okay, and orbit. Well, we should have disposed of the external tank, though. Okay, now let me try and figure out the fuel transfer thing. Not that we can use the engine. Maybe we should just abandon that fuel. We'll abandon that fuel. We definitely need OMS engines because... Or we could just use the mob propellant. We need more mob propellant. Uh, we could use the mob propellant to deorbit under normal circumstances. Um... Well, we're going to try random firings. Wow, we have 49% left in this stage here. Yeah... Did that... I mean, if I point vaguely in the right direction, we could probably deorbit. I don't think there's any reason to belabor this. We're just going to abandon this one. This was a test. Still got the payload in. Anyway, but at least we got it to orbit really badly. But I know what we need to do, so I'm just going to end flight, we're going to destroy craft. And we will continue to work on this next time. So with that, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do press like, if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.